There are few individuals in this world whose credentials are not forthrightly placed, but with their spirited companionship and devoted fellowship they designate the way for a better life ahead for people around them. Krishna Biswas is a name amidst the stratum. In the Khulna district of the erstwhile United Province of Bengal, On the holiest occasion of Vijaya Dashami, on September 30th, 1943, Ashin 13th, 1350, according to the Bengali calendar, Witness Day, Krishna was born to Hemendranath and Manorama Ghosh as the youngest of their three children and their sole girl child. Although Hemendranath was born in Kuri Gram in the Norail district of Joshohor, Bangladesh, his years of education and work were spent in Kolkata. His aesthetical life, however, was brought to an end by a deadly disease leaving his family and his two-and-a-half-year-old daughter in dire straits. Around this time, the escalating problems of partition forced her family to migrate to her maternal uncle's place in Malbazar, situated in North Bengal. Krishna's childhood days went past in the tea gardens of Pikchaskyu Malbazar. In her adolescent years, she along with her mother moved to Barasat in the 24 Parganas. Passing the school with flying colors, was one such incident while coming under the guidance of renowned communist leader Bhavani Shen in the 50s was another notable occurring. Left-centric women's movement had then been hitting the roads. Krishna's mother, Monorama Ghosh, popularly known as Rama Mashima, was one of the central figures of this movement. Being the privileged daughter of one of the main protagonists of the movement, Young Krishna came under close proximity of the intellectually superior strata of the then present leaders which shaped her mindset. She became a part of the Delhi March, the anti dowry movement and several other radical movements that sought to bring about the betterment at micro and macro levels of the societal superstructure. Her highly proactive role in the Amdanga flood relief activities of 1959 was greatly significant. In 1961, she also led the proceedings for the cultural event at Barasat on the occasion of Kavi Guru Rabindranath Tagore's birth centenary. In 1964, she got married to Panchanon Biswas, the founder owner of an established advertising agency in Kolkata. After marriage, she got settled in Beniapukur. In 1966, she gave birth to her only son, Sushanto. Even after taking over the reins of the joint family on her own shoulders, she kept herself engrossed with activities promoting social service. She was heavily engaged in organizing various cultural acts, staging local youngsters across many podiums of Kolkata. After enduring a fearsome fire accident, she was incessantly bogged down by health issues coupled with numerous surgeries in her later life. But all this could not breach and test her. There were further two incidents during this time that left a deep impact on Krishna's life. In 1976, her mother passed away. Even before that, in 1972, communist leader Vabani Shen, who had a profound effect on her life, be their due to the world. After the demise of her husband in 1990, she motivated herself for a greater involvement in activities of social service. She 
তার জীবনের যে একটা দেখেছি যে মানুষের যে পরিপূর্ণ জীবনের যে কথা বলা হয় তাকে সেটা দেখতাম তার সামাজিক ব্যাপারে সাংসারিক ব্যাপারে বা অন্য সামাজিক যে কোনো ব্যাপারই দেখতাম এটা তো একটা পরিপূর্ণ তার মধ্যে একটা ছিল যেটা এখন যদি মানুষকে পাওয়া যায় না বলেই তার প্রতি আমার একটা যে সেই মুগ্ধতার মনোভাবের কথা বলেছেন সেই মুগ্ধতার মনোভাবটা Moving to Motichil in 1992, she got involved in the local arteries of social services. She was one of the primary influences behind the setting up of the legal aid branch in Domdom in 1994 and alongside resolving family conflicts through the help of mutual dialogue. In 1995, she founded the Domdom Mohila Shamaj Kullan Shamiti Along with St. John Ambulance Association, the organization under her leadership organized workshops for the housewives for generating awareness on issues of healthcare, fire accident and likewise. The organization with the help of the Association of Voluntary Blood Donors West Bengal organized an exclusive blood donation camp for women which garnered a feat involving path-breaking participation, setting up a live example for the race team with Bengal. In 2006, she underwent a spinal cord surgery. On a fateful day, November 11, 2009, Kartik 24, 1416, according to the Bengali calendar, Wednesday, in a private hospital of South Kolkata, Krishna Biswas breathed her last. <laughs> সেটা হলো উৎসাহ সব ব্যাপারে উৎসাহ ঘরে বাইরে বাইরে ছিল সাংগঠনিক ক্ষমতা যে রক্তদান শিবির কিংবা কারো ঘর ভেঙে যাচ্ছে সেখানে দুটো পরিবারের বাড়ি বাড়ি বৈঠক করিয়ে জনতার আদালত তৈরি করে কয়েকজন মহিলাকে একত্র করে বাড়ি বাড়ি গিয়ে সংগ্রহ করত বন্ধু বা কর্মী তাদের নিয়ে বৈঠক করে করে সেই সংসার জুড়ে দিয়েছে তাছাড়া নাটক গান বাজনা ইত্যাদি মঞ্চস্থ করা এইসব বিষয়ে অসীম উৎসাহ আর ঘরে ছিল সৃজনী ক্ষমতা রান্নার লোক ছিল তবু নিজে রোজ কিছু রান্না করবে রান্নার ভিতরটা নতুন রকমের কিছু সংযোজন করবেই যার জন্য খেতে বসলে সকলের মনে হতো আজকে কি এই যে কৌতূহলটা এটা একটা রান্নার বিশাল মশলা এই কৌতূহল থাকলে খাওয়াটা কত আনন্দের হয় ওর এতে কখনো ক্লান্তি ছিল না যা হোক তা হোক একটা খাওয়া হবে রান্নার লোক যা রেঁধে দিল তা নয় আর ছিল নিজস্ব পড়াশোনা গান শোনা নির্দিষ্ট সময়ে রেডিওতে রবীন্দ্রসঙ্গীত ম্যাগাজিন পড়া বই পড়া কোনো দিন বাদ যেত না ঠিক বিকেলে গাছের পরিচর্যার ছাদে ফুল ফোটানো কি আনন্দ সব সময় আনন্দময় ওর মূর্তিটা সেই থ্রু আউট হার লাইফ ওয়াজ ইনফ্লুয়েন্সিয়াল ইন ক্রিয়েটিং অ্যাওয়ারনেস অ্যাবাউট ইরাডিকেটিং ব্লাইন্ডনেস through eye donation and thus cohering to her wish, her eyes were donated to Susruth Eye Foundation in Bidhannagar. Krishna Biswas led a life of sincerity and simplicity. Her vision was progressive and radical. It was this simplistic enigma of her that made her stand out of the rest and at the same time brought her close to numerous lives. The light of her eyes illuminated the darkness of others. Jibon shopia jibone shor pete hobe tabu puri chay. Tumar donka hobe je bajate shokol shonka kuri chay. Timiro ratri puhaye moha shampod tumare lobibo shop shampod khoye. মৃত্যুরে লব অমৃত করিয়া তোমার চরণে ছোঁয়ায়